is great to watch. He's unpredictable and almost stole the marsh there with that hefty blow. We all thought it was a six. Landed few feet short of that mark. I've got goosebumps. Uh, you know, the crowd is on every ball here. It's fabulous being at the cricket in India. That could be because uh, you had bad experience uh, sleeping last night. Your air conditioning wasn't working. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I, I've heard everything. change rooms <laughs> isn't that a great uh, shot he, he went for it didn't he on a dead pitch he's gone high and handsome nearly six but four frees under it what a man what an innings just absolutely brilliant he remained emotionless Thanking uh, the Almighty, it really is a top quality knock. Second in a row, 14 test match, 100. Last one against Australia, this one against South Africa. Two top quality teams been plundered by Sehwag. And almost uh, going the distance, this one, the slow delivery picked up early and striking it neatly over Mirov. And that's, uh, that's what he was working for, I guess, that he would frustrate Sevag into something different. Carlos for the ball. He's played it fine, and that's going to run away for four. Boundary to start the seedings after lunch for Sevag. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Used his feet, played it inside out, got beside the ball. Now there's a lot of room that he had to make to get into that position. What a stunning shot. Four. Outside the off stump, just the room. He just eased it through the covers. 201 is India and 201 is the partnership. That was another terrific shot by uh, Sawag. He just waited for the delivery, played it late, and picked that gap between point and cover. Some more runs. Four of them. Things not going right now for Dale Stain. This one short and wide and Sevag pounced on it. Through that vacant slip uh, area. So Dale Stain finding out that test cricket can be tough. He's had a wonderful run over the last uh, 12 months or so. He was the quickest to 100 wickets for South Africa. Everything went his way but uh, bowling on this pitch has been tough. Hasn't tried that. Sevak has got it through covers again. Just eased it through. He's probably going to come back for two. Very good shot by uh, Sevak again. Harris continuing to try and ball outside Sevak's leg stump. But he gave himself room on this occasion. He played it well. You're just wasting your time bowling outside the off stump, marginally short of a length to Virendra Sebal because it's too easy for him. 21st boundary. Oh boy, oh boy, what a shot this is. He is making it look so easy at the moment, Sebal. Just opens the face about, he knows exactly where all the fielders are. Total, total control. Guides it away. For four more, moves him on to 138. We could put it back to slow things down. Uh, 
somewhat as well. So this is a good sweep shot again by uh, Sayward, who's played brilliantly. Morne Merkel not able to cut that off. Let's hope he hasn't done any damage to himself. Always difficult for tall people really to uh, bend while running and uh, obviously looks to be in a little bit of pain but uh, he'll survive. Last thing South Africa would want is uh, their fast water to get unfit. They we'll want their... Uh, and he's uh, put away through the offside. Lazy elegance. Stunning stuff from uh, Virinda Sevak. Also is his 150. Tenth 150 in a row, would you believe it? It's been magnificent. And what a shot to play to get there. Sensational performance. Ten times he's got to 100 and got on to get 150 in a row. So magnificent. And it's been a, an absolute joy to watch this innings. 171 balls, 23 fours, 1 6, and a strike rate of 88. So great effort. Follows it up with a breathtaking straight drive. No chance for Prince. He's quick. But that ball sped away across the turf in a flash. He's turning it on now. Two successive boundaries. India will hope that this carries on for a while because that'll keep the run rate around about the four to the over, which it is now. Finding the gap, the ball will win the race. Graham Smith is giving it a chase. Will he dive? Oh, it goes and uh, hits the rope. And he dismantles the board there, Graham Smith. It's quite a heavyweight. It certainly is. He's a big unit these days. Into the boundary board. Second South African fielder that's. Uh, had some difficulty negotiating the boundary in the advertising board. Morno Morkel in the previous over went the same way. Graham Smith, fortunately this time, was able to just slow down because he hit the board. So in slow motion almost, putting over along with the advertising board. So hopefully no damage done on this occasion. Goes over the top. Fielder at Mid-off can do nothing about it. Makai and Tini had to run across to uh, get around it. Failed to save another blistering drive from Sevak going to the boundary. Well, he's just got an, a second or a third wind. Sevak is just superb at the moment. Runs are flowing everywhere. Gone fine away from Mark Boucher. Is it off the bat or pad? All eyes are on Asad Rauf. 